Okay, let's go up. So... Hmm... How do we know? I guess we can slab. Oh, I want to do that. Maybe it's a bit much. Actually, we probably are going to use all of that. What if we start a gable from here? That and then we have the blocks. Then next we have uh, double slab. In the middle, and that's the uh, that's the roof. And we are four blocks short. So that's the uh, the roof, I guess. How does that look? I do need to light this with torches. Hmm. Or maybe I should put them up here. Oh, that'll work. It's a little bit weird to have torches on your roof, but we have zombies in the game, so um, in Minecraft, not in my game, that I'm gonna make. We're gonna have zombies in Minecraft, so we're gonna have to uh, deal with that. So you don't really, you don't really see the roof at all, right? Because it's behind the, uh, it's behind the the, the corners. And that's the thing with shallow roofs, is that you don't really see it. That's a really weird building. I think the uh, the stone bricks are wrong. I think the stone bricks are wrong. But the, I only use them because I don't have actual bricks to use. I think it looks pretty bad with the stone bricks, to be honest. At the, at the corners like that. I think I would have preferred bricks. Anyway, we might change that in the uh, in my game. All right, windows in. Just a little bit of decorative furniture, nothing too fancy. Hmm. Hmm. How do we feel about about that? Because it's it's not good. Let me look at my pictures again. Yeah, it's not good. Hmm. 
Do I want it to stick out around the side? Do I want the corners to stick out around the sides as well? No, I think the problem is that there's no differentiation between the foundation and the building above. I think other, other than that, it's pretty good. Maybe what I should do is change the foundation to cobblestone. Maybe that makes sense. So that it's not the same material in the foundation as well as above. I think that's going to be better. Uh, we also need cobblestone bricks. I mean cobblestone stairs if we're going to do that. The thing with architecture is that when you when you build stuff, you're wanting to raise things above the ground, like you don't and so you wanna you wanna differentiate between your building and the ground, otherwise it's like you're living in the ground. If it's the same material if you use the same material for the floor as for the walls, it just feels awkward because it feels like you're living on the floor. And that's that's not very uh, sophisticated. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you like it's like you want to separate the building from the the floor around it. Can I leave the main entrance? As not, see that that's better. Look at that. That's better. I just need to uh, put the corners back. Or do I? Let me just do. No, that's a bit weird. That's kind of weird. Let me grab some stone stairs. I need eight of them, right? Yeah, so now it doesn't look like you just raised the ground up and then made a building out of it. Does that make sense? I'm not sure that actually makes sense. That feels better. That's still slightly strange. It might mean I should extend the, the parapet to the side as well. The problem is that on this side, there's no room for it. No, let me leave that. Let me just leave that. Alright, that's good enough. Uh, I should probably figure out where to put the torches. I guess torches next to the front door is okay. Slightly strange the way that is. Let's do that for now. Got a couple of signs. Just stick some signs in, go uh, church, just in case you can't tell. You can't tell what this is probably, we'll just go to the town hall. And uh, yeah, alright, alright, there's that, and then uh, furniture. What should we do about furniture and also interior decorations? That actually lights. That actually lights the entire interior just fine. Did I put that up there? Yes, I did. Um, waiting. Just chairs. Just you know, just just chairs. I don't have bookshelves. I don't want to make bookshelves. Books are so expensive. Now that you have to use leather for books, bookshelves are just so expensive. Um, tables. <laughs> That's pretty cheap, but uh, okay. Pots. We need. We need a. Uh, we need 
clay for pots, don't we? Maybe I extend this out. Now it's kind of crowded, isn't it? Nope, too crowded. Alright, let's uh, change our lines. Let's not do that. That's fine. Let's not, let's not spend too much time thinking about it. And your desk... The mayor's desk... Oops. Is it is it too tight if I just put her... Oh, it's a she in my, in my story, by the way. The mayor's a woman. Is it too tight if I put her... Right there? Kind of is. <laughs> you can't actually sit there. Um, give her a big desk. Give her a really big desk. And then uh, you can sit there to chat with her. Alright, let's just keep things simple. Let's not be. Let's not go too crazy with the decorations. In my game, I don't think you're actually going to go into the interior. I think you're just going to um, have a picture of the inside. Like you, in RPG Maker, like you, can, you can make rooms, or you can make um, maps. So the church, you can actually go in. There'll, there'll, be stuff, there'll be stuff happening in the church. The town hall, it'll just be the mayor, and maybe some other people talking to us. So you just probably go in the door, there'll just be a dialogue at the door, and then, and then maybe there'll be a picture of of the mayor and the office, but not you don't actually go into it as a map, if that makes sense. Uh, Alright, Town Hall. It's not the, uh, not the best thing in the world, but I think it's fairly good. Cemetery is going to be back here, it's not going to be very big. Just remove that tree, and remove the sand. And think a little bit about the cemetery. I think what we'll do is... Hmm. I mean, you definitely enter it this way. I'm just thinking, do you enter it the other way as well? Probably not. Um... And do I dig down or do I raise it up? The problem is that, as you can see, it's behind the other buildings. I'm going to have to change this in the actual game. Because it's behind the other buildings, and so the perspective, not the perspective, the isometric, if you're looking down at it in isometric, you won't see this, you won't see the cemetery at all, it's behind everything. That is going to be a problem for us. Maybe the cemetery can be a, a, a different map. Like you, you go through the cemetery gates and it's just a new map. And you just look at it from the other side maybe. Maybe that's how you fix it. Maybe that's how I fix it. And maybe most days the cemetery can just be closed. And you can't even go inside. I'm trying to minimize the amount of work we need to do and also I mean, okay, one, I'm, I'm a little bit lazy. But the, the other thing is that you don't want to have too many optional things. Like, if, you, if, there's, if there's a room, but there's nothing happening in that room, then you're kind of wasting the player's time by letting the player into the room, right? Because this game is going to be just story. You just walk around the town and talk to people. And, it, and it's all going to be story-driven and dialogue-driven. And so, if you put a room there, and you let the player go in and try to click on things but there's nothing actually there to click on, then you're wasting their time even letting them into the room. You know what I mean? So like if, if the cemetery, if there's a if there's an event in the cemetery, there's a person there and you talk to that person, then it makes sense that you can go into the cemetery and talk to the person because that's what you're doing. But if, if at a particular time, there's nothing happening in a cemetery, there's no point making the cemetery a room, letting the player go in and then just having nothing happen there, right? So 
so I, so you know partly it's me being lazy and partly it's me saving the player from having to to do a lot of unnecessary things. Does that make sense? <laughs>